Okay, how do I do this? Oh, oh you've given him what for. Now this is the mom with the weaned pup. <laughs> the pup is like, Mom, where are you going? He's going to get away from that neat old male. Oh, there's a mating going on right here. Do you see oh, the, yeah. Yeah. the big guy? He's in the shape of a letter C. Yeah. His little unit thing, just in case you want to know, is like three foot long and it's no long, thicker than a Ticonderoga pencil. It's oh even my yellow. God. Oh dear. But so he this pulls is... it out, inserts it, and then pulls it back because he's got to protect that thing too. So. But now they're mating. The pup is right next to her. When she's done, we'll see if he escorts her down. But it's almost like this compassion. I don't, you know, we try to mm -hmm. not put people's feelings on stuff, but. Well, I, I would think that it's also um, it a part of it. He needs to protect, protect his unit. He, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that he cares about her so much. I but, know. I know. I know. You'd like to. Well, it's just nature at its best, either way, you know. Okay. Oh my god, this is so much better. So this male up here by the bushes is also mating yeah. with the female and there's two pups Puppy. then. Now the pup thing is not a good situation. Both those pups are probably going to die. Because? She nurses 40% of her body weight for one pup. She physically cannot oh, do 40% for, for each pup. Oh. So neither pup will have... So where will they end up dying? Right there? Yeah. Yeah, look at them bite her. He's biting her to hold her in place. But you know what? Nature's got an amazing cleanup crew. We, we've seen like turkey vultures and we've seen coyotes coming here. Did I tell you about, did I say the fox story? Yeah, you told me. Not the fox the story. Or the uh, coyote story. Yeah. Okay, wait, here, wait, okay, wait. Okay, go wait. ahead. Oh my goodness. 